Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, thank you for coming back. So today I have a styling video for you guys, which I know a lot of you have been waiting for, but honestly I have been so up in the air with moving and everything else that I just have not had time. But I have now put together a little styling video. So this is gonna be based around how to take your summer wardrobe into your autumn wardrobe. We're kind of in that phase now where we have some really, really, really lovely and hot, hot days. But also days like today where it's literally grey skies, it's going to rain and it's a little bit more chilly. And because of those days that are like really hot and really cold, you never want to wear a full on winter outfit or an autumn outfit or a full on summer outfit. So I've taken all of my hero pieces that I've been wearing for the last couple of weeks and months and then shown you how I can change them very easily into an autumn outfit or something a little bit more cosy. And to do that, I have actually picked up three new things. So one is a handbag and and the other two are shoes, all from Farfetch. As you guys know, I have used Farfetch for the longest time. They are the most amazing retailer. Basically, they are like an online hub and they stock 3,000 or over 3,000 different brands. And the way that they work is that when you buy something, they will source it from either one of their 50 boutiques all around the world or one of their brand partners. So let me get one of the boxes to show you. I have shown you guys this literally every time I talk about them, but I just think it is the nicest little touch. So as I said, when you buy something, they will source it for you from somewhere across the world. And sometimes some things will come from Italy, some things will come from the UK, literally wherever they've sourced it from, you will know. So it will either tell you on the notes, I'm trying to hide my address here. <laughs> but if you can see up here, this box in particular came from England. So they have this cute little English flag sticker. Then the other one that I have says on here it came from Luxembourg. So it's just a really, really cool little touch. You get to see where your pieces all come from. So a few other things I want to mention about Farfetch. The first being the returns policy, because I have used them so much and I have returned a few things, not often I will admit but the few times I have returned it is the easiest process you go online you process a return you pick a pickup date and let me show you this box again so everything comes with all your receipts and everything inside but they have this extra little section there you literally fill out the returns form seal this back up and somebody will come to your house within like whatever day you choose so I chose it for the next day so literally 24 hours after I'd sorted this out and they will come pick it up and they will process your returns so quickly I'm pretty sure the thing I ordered was definitely from overseas but definitely in Europe might have been Greece I want to say I think <laughs> um, and that whole process was done within like less than a week so it's a really easy return system the other thing that I want to mention is that they have the most amazing pre-loved section so all of these collections of Chanel Hermes um, and loads and loads more where they have all of their pre-loved bags and I keep saying in every single video that I mentioned at Farfetch that I'm on the hunt for a Chanel that is pre-loved but I have not actually come across the right one yet or I've been the right time to get one so I am keeping an eye on that section but it's just a little thing to look out for because it is really really handy and then the final thing I want to say is that I have a discount code for Farfetch which is let me just double check yeah, so I'll put it on screen as well, but it is FFNadia10 and it will get you 10% off of your order. There are T's and C's that go with that, but I will leave everything down in the description box. So I guess I will now go on to the unboxing, which I know you're all waiting for. So let me show you the three things I picked up and then we'll get into how I'm styling them. So first of all, I will start on the shoes. The first pair of shoes I got were from Chloe. If any of you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen that I have my eye on a few pairs of Chloe trainers. Wasn't sure which ones to go for, but I will show you now which ones I ended up picking. Because bearing in mind, I had summer to autumn transition in my head. There was two pairs. One was definitely like summer and good weather only. And there's another pair which I would have got a lot more wear out of. So I decided to be a bit more sensible and get these ones. So whenever you buy anything from Farfetch, you get all of your Farfetch receipts and then everything is packaged <laughs> everything is packaged beautifully as it would be if you were buying just like directly from the shop so these are called the Lauren low top sneakers as you guys know I'm very into my trainers I have quite a good collection of them now um let me put this down and I'm always kind of flittering between having chunky trainers or having more kind of neat trainers. But then recently I was looking at my wardrobe and I had loads and loads of more kind of neat sneakers, but I didn't actually have any more than one pair of chunky trainers. And I thought these would be a really good one to add to the chunkiness. They're not super chunky, but they are definitely more chunky than say like Veja's or my YSL sneakers that I wear all the time. So this is what they look like. They are white, as I say, slightly chunky. Let's try and get them darker. There you go. They have a beautiful scalloped edge all the way around. They have laces on the front. Um, I feel like this light is a bit bright, but I will be doing cutaways. But if you can see on here, they have the Chloe logo right there. 
laces and then the scalloped edge a nice kind of chunky sole as well and the bit that I absolutely loved was this bit on the back so it, obviously it's a plain white sneaker but they have this touch of black with Chloe branding up the back as well so these I thought would be the perfect white sneaker they will take me all the way through the year they won't just last one season which is another thing I always look out for I try and get pieces that I can wear way more than one season and then with this touch of black on the back I think they're perfect for me because if you can look at my rail I wear a lot of black sometimes pure white things can look a little bit dark against it so I always kind of look out for little black detailing like that not that you'll really see it too much you can kind of see it on the side there but the inside is a lovely nude color as well I really can't wait to style these up I've got them paired with quite a few pieces on the rail especially things like this little summer dress I think they're gonna look really really cool but I will talk to you about that in a minute okay, next was a bag and this is from Jill Sander who I've never actually had anything from before but have been eyeing their pieces up quite a lot recently so it comes in a dust bag actually it comes in two dust bags but this is the bag dust bag <laughs> And this is the holster bucket bag. Um, I thought this was beautiful. Okay, so this is the bag. I am absolutely obsessed with it. It is a handheld top bag as well. So it's not a crossbody, but I thought this was really cool to have. It's not big enough where it's gonna annoy you when it's sat on your arm like this. So that was something I definitely looked out for. It is also in this absolutely gorgeous, soft, soft leather. The inside is literally just a bucket, hence the bucket bag name. So it is just a dumping bag, but it also does look like it's got a good bit of room. There are drawstrings on the sides too, here and here, so easy to get really into it and then easy to close up again. This strap on the top you can make longer or shorter if you can see there, it does have adjustable little buckles on either side so I can kind of have it longer or shorter but honestly I think that is the perfect length. Um, it just kind of sits nicely and then finally it just has a simple flat bottom and I just thought this was absolutely perfect especially as I say bringing me into the more kind of rainy seasons and darker seasons I think black leather is something that I will forever wear year round 100% um, I have like my leather jackets I have leather trousers and I tend to reach for them all year round the only thing I don't really wear is leather skinny trousers in summer because I would get way too hot but this kind of bag is beautiful it will take you all the way through the year and also as I always 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 say I look out for is something that will work day and night so this bag if you style it quite casual it can definitely look nice and casual but then equally it will look really really gorgeous in the evening as well so in the daytime I'll just hook it over my arm like this and in the evening I will probably if you can see there hold it by the top handle and it's more kind of um, done up that way this was about the 600 pound mark by the way and the trainers were about 350 again not hugely expensive we're not talking like Chanel prices or Hermes prices but things that are a little bit more affordable but made beautifully and amazing quality as well so that is that bag and then the final thing I got was a pair of sliders let me locate them in this office so I really really love these sliders again I have my eye on them for super long they are from Givenchy um, these are a little bit more summery than the other two things I've just shown you so these are called the logo print studded sandals because I thought the other two things were kind of more definitely going to carry me through to the winter and the autumn these I could take for the good days that we're going to have over the next couple months as well so this is what they look like they are absolutely stunning I'm obsessed with them I do think even though they are sandals they're quite a heavy sandal quite a thick sandal and so I think when you're having those days that are probably a little bit more chilly than warm but are sunny and when you have things like I'm going to show you on the rail where you're more covered up on the body these will be a really good piece to have to kind of balance out the more warm elements of the outfit so they are brown on the bottom they have these studs all the way around which I love and then this is a canvas but it's quite a if you can see there, I can't like squish it. It's definitely a firm canvas. Has a little bit of branding there, as you can see, but nothing too in your face, which is another thing I do try and look out for. I don't like anything that is covered in logos or covered in branding. But then again, these are one of those things that I will wear in autumn, but I will also heavily wear throughout the summer on holidays and that kind of thing. So they were a very good little purchase. I then actually have one more thing to show you, which I'm wearing. I just forgot about them. Um, these are little Fendi hoops, which I picked up from Farfetch. I think I ordered them like four days ago and I literally got them yesterday so super fast delivery as well and I have been seeing these everywhere I kept humming umming and eyeing over them and then I was having a browse on the Farfetch website um I think it was like the first night I got in this house just seeing if there's anything on there anything that caught my eye and then these came up so I thought I had to get them so I will leave everything down below okay so let's get into the styling part remember if you want to shop anything from Farfetch there will be my discount code down below and on screen as well 
So the first outfit I picked was my trusty denim shorts. These are so old, there is no tags on them, so I have no idea where they're from, but there are lots and lots of ones very, very similar online. Although I will just say now, with all of these outfits, I've kind of pulled things again that everyone should have variations of in their wardrobe. So the first thing is these shorts, as I said. I always look for shorts that have a little bit of length in them. I don't like shorts that are short shorts. I don't think they're very day wearable. I also don't think they just, I just don't think they look good. I always try and get ones that are a little bit longer. These are frayed edge hem as well so they're more kind of casual than done up they have a paper bag waist they have belt loops and they're just a really nice flattering shape throughout the summer I've been wearing these with like linen shirts and sandals but to bring them into the winter I've paired them with a little jumper this is a very very simple black jumper apart from it has these cut out shoulder bits which I absolutely love so it has a crew neck it has long sleeves it's very simple very slinky and it is slightly ribbed if you're gonna get that there then these cut out shoulders just keep that nice little like summer element so I tucked these in to the shorts and then I added a blazer over my shoulders this is just a very very simple oversized dad blazer style um, it's super shapeless it's super big and it's just perfect for pairing with this kind of outfit this is quite a casual outfit and even though the silhouette of this blazer is super relaxed it is bringing quite a formal look into the whole outfit I would wear this for meetings I would wear this for lunches when it's more of like a sunny day just to tie off that outfit I've added this big belt it's very very simple it's quite a big chunky black belt with a really big matte um, buckle it does kind of come up quite shiny there but it is matte in real life so I thought that looked really cool paired against the denim it tied in with the blazer and I just thought it was a really nice finishing touch to the outfit and then shoe wise I actually chose either one of my new shoes so I could do my sandals if we're not dealing with rain if we're dealing with a nice hot day these would be the perfect option I think they tie the whole look together really really well keeps it quite smart keeps it very simple just to finish all of that off I added my Jill sander bag I thought this looked really really cool just tucked over my shoulder like this however if if it is a really nice and warm day but then we have the chance of like rain or maybe it's been raining before and you know you just need your toes covered I have picked the Chloe trainers because they also look amazing with the outfit the trainers are obviously white which I always think looks amazing against denim but then we've tied all the black together with this little bit on the back next is this beautiful broderie anglaise dress and um, obviously this is a very very summer focused piece however I only got it about two no not even that about a month ago and I got it because I had been looking for something like this throughout the whole of summer basically so I did get this piece kind of towards the end of summer coming into autumn however I just didn't want it to go to waste and I didn't want to wait another year to wear it so I have styled it up and I'm actually I think it's probably my favorite outfit on the rail it looks so cool so I paired it with my Chloe trainers thought that super super feminine Silhouette and print and everything about this dress is super girly and pretty and cute I thought pairing it with these chunky trainers would look a dream and honestly, I'm obsessed I think these are a really cool trainer. They are the more chunky style as well So I thought they looked really good paired against this dress This keeps the whole look super casual But also super wearable and it will work really nicely throughout into autumn and then just to keep some warmth on I added my trusty leather jacket. I'm obsessed with this. It is such a hero piece in my wardrobe and um, I wasn't sure if this was going to be too grand over a dress like this but actually I think it looks really really nice I think the two styles work amazingly together and um, obviously to tie that off I've taken my Jill sander bag I would actually wear this dress with this bag and then some sandals in the summer like the high summer but then adding the trainers and the leather jacket takes it so nicely into the autumn style the next outfits I pulled are midi skirts I definitely wanted to include midi skirts in this because I wear them so so much I wear them all through the year the way that I dress them up for different seasons is very easy but it works super well so I pulled two. So it's just a plain black one, which I feel like most people will have variations of in their wardrobe. And one is a printed one. Although it is a darker print, which I think works best going through into more like autumn and winter. But the thing with midi skirts is I wear them right through to winter because when it gets actually really cold, you can just pop like sports leggings on underneath and it gives you an extra layer of warmth no one will see it but your outfit still looks really really cute go with the first one which is this simple black pleated one it's a serious hero piece for me i reach for it all year round i wear it all the time and i just absolutely love it take this one into autumn i've actually paired it with the top i'm wearing right now which is a bodysuit but it has these beautiful shoulder pads on it so i think it's quite a chic piece even though it's a very simple crew neck body adds a really nice cool and chic element with this short well these shoulder pads so I obviously just tuck that in to the skirt so it's a super simple plain black outfit so keeping along the theme of black I have my Jill Sander bag and this again I think looks really cute just tucked over your shoulder and I think this bag looks absolutely beautiful with this skirt especially because it's pleated it's kind of giving me like vintage vibes and honestly autumn is when I come to life all of my wardrobe 
becomes very, very dark. I feel in my element. I don't feel like I have to wear <laughs> lighter colors or bright colors. I am just obsessed with black. It's my absolute favorite. But because that outfit is super dark, I'm wearing everything black and the bag is black and the top and the skirt is black. I thought adding these Givenchy sandals would be a really good way to lighten and brighten it a little bit. It also keeps that little element of summer in there, which I know I try and hold on to for as long as possible. And also when it is a little bit sticky in the days coming up, these are a nice way to keep you nice and cool. With this outfit, depending on the weather, I would definitely pair with the white trainers as well. And then moving on, I have picked up this skirt. This skirt, I will say, cost per wear has to be about 10p right now. <laughs> um, it's just a little piece from Mango. I got it... I think about a year ago, it's definitely, well, it was online about a week ago, so I will hopefully be able to link the exact one down below for you. Um, and I just absolutely love this. I wear it dressed up, I wear it dressed down, I wear it in summer, I wear it in winter, I wear it on holidays, I wear it in England. It is just the most amazing all-rounder piece. So this is what it looks like. It is more of a maxi, maxi midi, I would say. I absolutely love animal print, but I do think you have to be careful with what print you get. I think sometimes it can really look very cheap. Although I think this one is beautiful. I love how it's got the khaki tones in it. It's got the black throughout. And then it also has this little fleck of gold, if that's gonna come up. In summer, I reached for this with t-shirts and sandals and loafers. But coming into autumn, I love to wear it with long sleeve tops and trainers. So again, I've gone for this top. I said in the last one, I think these shoulder pads are adding so much to this otherwise very, very simple top. And I think it's super chic. I love how form fitting it is and how thin and kind of like lightweight it is. So even though you've got your arms covered, you're getting a little bit of warmth there. It is a very, very thin top. However, to keep us a little bit warmer, I have stuck on these Chloe trainers. Again, these look so cool with that skirt, honestly. The skirt, as I say is a little bit longer on me i'm not sure whether it is meant to be maxi whether i'm just a little bit shorter and it is maxi on me but either way it's a lot longer than what i would call a midi skirt and these trainers just sticking out of the bottom looks so cool i feel like midi skirts are such an effortless outfit to wear um and they make you look effortless but they make you look really chic and really put together and like you've just chucked it on but you look that good <laughs> again i'm going to mention the little tag on the back because this little bit of black really does just help tie everything all in together and to finish that off i've added my leather jacket again so this is a really cute and has a little bit of glitter in it skirt um it is quite a dark pattern as i said and it is kind of kind of on the grungy side which i like so i feel like this jacket really does a good job of tying all of that in together and also it's nice and casual which matches in with the trainers and then of course i've just popped on my jill sander bucket bag as well and i think that just ties off everything really nicely this is definitely an outfit that i would wear out for a nice lunch um or for meetings it's one of those all-rounders i think it is a little bit more dressy and chic looking than some of the outfits I wear when I wear a midi skirt. Okay, next I have an outfit more for the cooler days in autumn. So this is a pair of trousers. These are gonna be Marmite and this light is making them look very plasticky. <laughs> Let me turn this off for a minute so you can see. So without a light, this is what they're looking like. So they're really not that shiny. I feel like some people are really gonna love these and some people are literally gonna be like, what are you holding up right now? <laughs> and I actually also was kind of thinking that and then I kept seeing them, kept seeing them, kept seeing them and I was like, these would be really, really good. Throughout winter, they will do day to night. So you can wear heels with them, you can wear trainers with them. And um, I don't know, I'm just really happy I got them. I think they are actually really, really cool. They are a straight leg style as well. So when you wear them with heels, I think they'll look really good, but also they are nice and casual for the day. Casual with the twist, let's say. <laughs> and then they just do up with a little button on the top here and they're really nice and tight around my waist. So they come into a straight leg. They are a little bit long though. So I've had to roll them. I popped a very plain and simple black tee on with these. And I gave this a little knot on the top so it would sit right above the waistline. And I think that just keeps it to look very daytime. But then I've rolled up the cuffs because they are a little bit long on me and I've stuck on these Ooh! flying trainer. I've stuck on these Chloe trainers and I think it's just such a cool look. It's super effortless. There is literally, it's the most simple outfit ever. But I think the trousers just add a really chic element to it. Something a little bit different as well. Um, and then these just kind of finish it off completely as a daytime look. To finish it off, I'm popping my Jill Sander bucket bag on again. I think it's just a very, very timeless look. Very, very effortless. Very, very casual as well. It's one of those outfits I've just made that when I don't know what to wear and I can't be bothered to think about what to wear, this is going to be like a go-to. Then you can also bring this into winter though, so I'd probably keep the trainers on with it. I would wear a top like this, but thicker. 
probably an oversized cotton blazer, something a little bit thicker. I think it's a very easy one to bring through the seasons. However, if it is a little bit warmer, and these are full leather, so they are going to make you heat up. <laughs> um, I have also popped the outfit on with these sandals, and it looks really, really cool. Again, it just keeps it a little bit more lighter and more summery than wearing trainers. And then the final look I picked was a suit. So this one, I'm thinking meetings, office, um, maybe like uh, like office to drinks afterwards. So this is a very simple and classic suit from Topshop. I've had this for a long time now. It's one of those things that just fit me so well. Well, actually the jacket's a little bit small now, so <laughs> probably should get a different jacket. But I have lots of blazers that would work with it. But the suit trousers in particular fit me beautifully and it's just one of those like handy ones to have. I haven't worked in an office for a very long time, but when I did work in an office and it was hot, I used to wear kind of like midi dresses and loafers and things like that. Coming into like autumn, winter, I would wear suits and, um, or suits suit trousers and little jumpers and stuff so these are the suit trousers they're very 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 simple just normal cigarette pants and um, quite a nice thin pant as well so they're not baggy at the bottom and they are kind of form-fitting then this blazer is super super simple but as I say you could literally wear any blazer I could wear something a little bit more oversized I could wear something a little bit thicker so this one has a really lovely shape to it it comes down into quite a deep V it has the buttons on the side, I don't ever really close it. I kind of just roll the sleeves up or wear it on my shoulders and keep it nice and casual. So I don't know if this was just my office, but I remember it was either absolutely sweltering and it was so hot in there all the time, or it was absolutely freezing. <laughs> so I'm gonna go with the hot option and I'm gonna take this little vest top from Zara. This is in the most beautiful material. It feels like felt. It's super, super, super soft. Um, you probably can't even see that. But um, it's a lovely little undertop to wear for things like this. I've been wearing it tucked into jeans like these. It's a lovely piece. I've been wearing it a lot. It has a nice high neck, so it's higher than this one. Really kind of like around the rim of your neck. The straps are a little bit thicker, so you'll be absolutely fine wearing any kind of bra with this. But to be honest, I haven't been wearing any bras with it. I just thought the beige paired with the black was really nice. Again, you've got the nice kind of like autumn winter black. It's quite heavy. It's quite dark. But I am lightening it up with this really nice nude underneath. Although I don't work in an office, I would wear stuff like this all the time. I would wear it into town. I would wear it for meetings. I would wear it to events. So I actually really love a suit outside of work wear, office wear. With that, I have popped on my Chloe trainers again. I think these look really cool, especially with the cigarette charger style. They finish on the ankle, which I think gives you a really good look at the trainers. The trainers then also become kind of like a feature in the outfit because the rest of it is very simple and very basic. So as I said at the start, these have that little nude lining well, inside. If I was to have my foot in there, you will see the teeny tiniest little bit of this nude rim there. And only people with equal eyes will notice this, but it's the kind of thing that I definitely notice. That matches up so brilliantly with this little top. So I think you are pairing everything all in together. The white keeps it nice and casual, but as I said, they are kind of like smart trainers, in my opinion. So I would wear these to an office. And then to finish it all off, again, I've added my bucket bag. I think this is such a cool look. It's very put together, obviously, because it is a suit, but I think it's also very casual and very chic. And I just think it kind of ticks a lot of boxes. This is probably one of my favorites on the rail as well. Okay, so that is just a few ways I've shown you how I'm taking my summer wardrobe into my autumn wardrobe and then transitioning my whole wardrobe using a few pieces from Farfetch. I always say having good shoes and a good bag is key. Some of the pieces that I have in general aren't super seasonal apart from little things like this dress um, but most of it is things that you can mix and match all year round. So my favourite and the easiest way I think to bring my wardrobe through each season is to add in some hero pieces so everything that I've got so like the two different shoes so you have like the sandals which are keeping you in the summer side and you've got the trainers which are keeping you in the more kind of autumn winter side and having the two of them will just bring you really nicely all through the seasons. I think a little black leather bag is so key in everybody's wardrobe it's such a staple for me. They take you from day to night, they take you from smart to casual, and the most important thing for me is that you can wear them year round, but I think I get the most wear out of my black leather bags throughout the autumn winter. If anybody is looking to bring their summer wardrobe more into the autumn and then winter, I would highly recommend going on Farfetch. They have so many amazing different brands, different price points, different styles, and it is always my go-to when I'm looking for anything, but especially for key pieces that I want to put into my wardrobe to give it a new life, um, especially coming into different seasons. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed that. I'm really happy to be back filming and filming styling and capsules and I'm just really enjoying having at least some kind of setup in this office. If you could see behind the camera, it's not good. <laughs> Remember and use my discount code if you're getting anything, it will get you 10% off. It's FF. 
Nadia at 10. T's and C's will be down there though. Um, and everything on this row I will link and if anything is sold out I will find something extremely similar for you. So if you did like the video please make sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!